Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a satirical breakdown of Apple's latest release, the iPad Mini 7. After three years, Apple has finally decided to give us some mini updates at a not so mini price. Let's take a closer look at what Apple has in store for us this time. First up, let's talk about the new Apple Pencil Pro. Apple has introduced some fancy new features like hover, barrel roll, and pinch controls. Sounds impressive, right? But don't get too excited just yet. Apple hasn't made any promises about fixing those pesky screen darkening issues from the past. So while you might enjoy some new tricks with your Apple Pencil Pro, you might still have to deal with some old problems. Moving on to the camera, or should we say the unchanged camera position. Yes, Apple has decided to keep the camera right where it was, leading to those awkward FaceTime angles we all love to hate. So if you were hoping for a more flattering video call experience, you might be out of luck with the iPad Mini 7. Now let's talk about what's under the hood. The iPad Mini 7 comes with the A17 Pro chip. Not the latest, but Apple assures us it's sufficient. And to sweeten the deal, they've thrown in some AI-driven Apple intelligence. But let's be real, this AI seems more geared towards impressing investors than actually enhancing user experience. So while your iPad might not be the fastest on the market, at least the shareholders are happy. Next, we have the display. Apple has decided to stick with the good old LCD panel. No OLED here, folks. And if you were hoping for a reduction in the infamous jelly scroll effect, you'll be disappointed. On the bright side, they have upgraded the Wi-Fi speed and bumped up the base storage to 128 gigabytes. So at least you'll have faster internet and more space to store your disappointment. For our friends of the EU, there's a special treat. The iPad mini 7 comes without a charger in the box. That's right, you'll have to buy that separately. Apple's way of saying, we care about the environment and your wallet. The iPad mini 7, priced at $500, may raise eyebrows given its limited updates. Apple positions this cost as reflective of its approach to innovation, incremental improvements at premium pricing, emphasizing that even small tweaks add value. The mini 7 doesn't include groundbreaking upgrades. It retains an LCD screen rather than OLED, which Apple includes in other iPads and iPhones, keeping the issue that affects rapid movement on screen. This model runs on the A17 Pro chip, rather than Apple's latest A18, which is reserved for high-end devices, implying a performance level Apple believes is good enough for this product segment. Compatibility with the Apple Pencil Pro adds some functionality with hover, barrel roll, and pinch controls, though the pencil may cause screen darkening if attached too long, a known issue Apple hasn't addressed. Its camera remains positioned awkwardly for FaceTime, unlike other recent iPads. Storage has doubled from 64 gigabytes to 128 gigabytes, and Wi-Fi speed has improved slightly, but these updates may feel modest to users anticipating a more substantial upgrade after three years. Despite this, Apple's immense $3 trillion valuation gives it the leeway to maintain high pricing for minor enhancements, reinforcing its philosophy of gradual refinement over groundbreaking change in smaller product lines like the iPad mini. For those seeking small updates with a hefty price tag, Apple bets that brand loyalty and perceived exclusivity will outweigh the lack of innovation. In summary, the iPad Mini 7 offers some new features and improvements, but also comes with its fair share of quirks and limitations. It's a classic example of Apple's unique approach to innovation. Thanks for tuning in, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave your thoughts in the comments below.